Hey, thanks for checking out this video. In this video, we're gonna give you our take on the Sylvan Sport Dynomax Kitchen. We've used this a couple times, but. We're gonna set it up for you, show you how that works, show you what's simple about it, what you might wanna take note of, and how it's helped us out when we've taken it along on our camping trips. So let's check it out. All right, so we've unzipped it. We're gonna lift the lid. Now we're gonna lift the entire unit straight up like this. And then basically this bottom part accordions out. So we're gonna pull that out. And then there are front and back supports that you just kind of latch in place. They don't even really click. You could just feel them go into place. We're gonna lift this up. We'll go ahead and put the back in place. We're gonna flip the table out first. Maybe. There we go. Side table comes out. Make sure and latch the... Yep. All right, now we're gonna put this in place. Now the back is secure and the table's secure. And boom, you're about ready to go. So let's check this thing out. We've got some hooks here. Again, we're gonna just kind of walk through this but we'll drop photos as we're going so you can see what we're doing here. If you can't see from the video, cause they're black, there's like a multitude of kind of net pockets here. So this is great for holding whatever you wanna put, salt and pepper, some you know wet wipes, whatever you wanna put with your kitchen. There's lots of little pockets here to keep stuff all kind of organized for you. Yeah, actually there's three <clears throat> kind of horizontal pockets here on the top, and then there's these vertical pockets on the side. And then this bigger pocket is where the wind shield for this also came for. Sherry's setting it up now, but we'll show you some pictures of what it looks like set up. So if you have your camping stove right here, this will help block the wind. There's some little holes right here where the windscreen like tucks into the table is what holds it steady. So it's not just sitting there on its own. All right, so we've talked about the back, the top. Uh, we're gonna put a link to this in the description so you can check out all the specs on it. I do remember that this is bamboo top, which evidently is kind of cool. I don't know, <laughs> it looks nice. I don't know, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah. it's been handy, it's worked really well. But we're gonna um, go ahead and zip up in the front. There's two doors. They actually have Velcro, so you can Velcro, like roll these up if you wanted to. We haven't done that yet, but. <laughs> and then inside, it comes with these shelves that you can put in here to kind of give this some, some firmness if you're gonna put items in there. So there are four of those pieces. Obviously you keep perishable stuff in your cooler um, as far as food is concerned, but this is helpful. We put our plates and silverware, our pan that we use for cooking breakfast and you know paper towels, things like that. Um, if you're just camping in a pretty, you know, close to civilization area, you could put like boxes of crackers or your bread and buns and things like that. Um, if you're camping where there might be some other creatures that, who are joining you, we don't recommend keeping food, like actual edible food in these shelves overnight. Yes, we have not experienced camping where there's wild things other than other people. <laughs> but no bears, <laughs> no mountain lions, no anything like that that we know of. So we haven't really dealt with the food issue, but and then but lots of storage really if, as you can see a lot of space and then it has the uh, little sink the kitchen sink and we were kind of struggling to figure out where this went but it goes right here on the side so if you're cleaning your dishes here you can put some water in there so we're going to show you now the camping stove we use and how it fits over here. Okay, this is the Coleman camping stove that we purchased when we started. I'll probably 
put together a review of this at some point. We're happy with it for the most part. Um, again, I'm not going to get into the details of this. It has a grill and a regular burner. We'll, we'll do another video about that. But if you set this up over here, it fits perfect. And when you raise this up, everything would be fine, except because this is a propane stove, if you put the propane connector over here, it kind of hangs off the back of the shelf and you can't do it with the windscreen in place. We would take these off. Again, I'll, we'll, we'll show you some pictures of these, but they have little bitty kind of J hooks that fit in the slots and then you slide them over so they stay there. So this goes back in the back here. And, and this setup allows us to use the propane attachment. One other thing I forgot to mention when we were showing the basic setup is over here, it's kind of folded down in the legs when you open it up, is a frame that is set up for you to put your trash bag wrapped around that. Um, I'll just say kind of like everything you'll find in the Sylvan lineup, I really think the engineers, they just like kind of think of everything, like the little, just little places. There is another little bar down there for a dish towel. Um, they just kind of think of all the little things and they're all fairly intuitive to find where they are and access them and utilize them. Exactly. And w there's a bottle opener right here as well uh, that we didn't really notice at first, but that would come in handy. And yeah, for the uh, trash bags, we just wrap a trash bag around that kind of rim and then put some paper or uh, clothespins. Yeah. Paper to hold clips it in place. would probably not work. <laughs> but clothespins work fine. Right. So if you don't have clothespins when you're camping, then go buy some because they're handy. We've been using them for a lot of things. Yeah, it does take up a lot of space. And I would say like if you're just going camping for one, maybe two nights, it might not be worth the whole like, let's set up the whole thing. Because a lot of campsites will have a picnic table where you could set your stove and some of the stuff we've talked about putting in here. But once you get into camping days where it's maybe three or four days or more, it really is nice to just kind of have a designated spot. And I honestly, like when we set up our campsite, I like to just sort of frame out around us with this kind of stuff. And it just kind of, I don't know, it creates our space. It creates our little home for the time that we're gonna be there. So I actually like that piece of it as well. So it might be a little much for one night or something like that, but once you're camping for a few days, it's nice to have a place where everything goes. Yep, and um, I've noticed a lot of people on the Facebook pages are putting this in the gazebo. Oh, okay. Which we don't have. Maybe someday we'll have one and we can review that too. But I think that's a cool option is to put this in the gazebo. So regardless of the weather, if it's sunny and hot or if it's pouring down rain, you've got this set up in the covered gazebo. You can still make breakfast in the rain. That's right. <laughs> so that's it for the Dynomax kitchen from Sylvan Sport. Again, like Sherry said, whoever the engineers are with that company are really good because the camper, all these things are really well made, well thought out. Yeah, they have all the little pieces that you might you know, not even realize you need until you're out camping and then you're like, oh, wow, that's super handy. So we really like those aspects of everything we've utilized so far for Sylvan products. Yep. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll be cranking out some more content every chance we get. So thanks let's, for watching. Yep, let's go camping. Let's go camping. <laughs> we got to coordinate that, don't we? We do. See ya.